awesome Taj Mahal medics. I've got a Mercedes CLK here on a 2007 plate, just doing a position lamp. The reason I'm doing a position lamp because uh, the customers put aftermarket bulbs on there and it's flickering and it stops sometimes and it works sometimes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the original ones back on there. The 501 bulbs, you can find them in the description or the end of the video, as well, link for it. Now you can see what I mean by the aftermarket bulb. You can see that's flickering. So sending wrong voltage to the car as well. So on the inside, on the dash itself, uh, it's coming up with position lamp faults. So what I'm gonna do, switch the lights off. I then open the bonnet. Now on this bonnet, the shockers are very weak. So if I let go of the bonnet, it just comes down. So what I'm gonna do, just right here, you can see this button. So what you do, you press this button, and then, one second and then you lift it up and lock in position. In that way, this bonnet is not gonna come down on you. You've got more space to work, more light as well. Now the bulb we're doing, both of them, that one's a bit awkward. This one's quite easy. So it's the inside cover here. Right, okay, now that we're here, I've got my gloves on. So what you gotta do is to remove this cover. Just remember when you do remove this cover, you gotta remember the seals around here. So make sure it's intact. So put that to the side. And the bulb we're replacing is the brown and grey cable. Yep. And I've already got the bulb right here, which is a 501. So what I'm going to do now is slide my hand through. You might not be able to see, see this bit. And then pull the thing out. So what I did was, I pulled it from here. And you can see yourself, the bulb has just been, it's just not a good bulb to to be honest with you for the car so they do mess up uh, the voltage hence that's why they only work for a short time and then they start flickering and on top of that you'll get wrong wrong signals on the dash as well saying that the bulb is not fitted or the bulb is not working but it is now the original one is just a clear clear bulb that's what we're gonna fit it's only one way that would go as well so once that's fitted you then Slide it through the hole. And that's it. So that's in there now. I then put the cover back on. Make sure the cover goes in, otherwise you'll get condensation on the light. So you don't want to do that. Now if you did want to do other bulbs, like for the main dead bulb and this one, you can just remove this cover here or this cover here and then you can do the bulb. On this one, the big one, which is the main dead bulb, high beam, uh, sorry, low beam bulb, it's a H7 bulb. So all you do is turn it to your left and it will just pop out. So and then you replace the bulb and then the four beam one is going to be a H7 bulb again. Same thing again, you twist it to your left, pull it out, push it back in. All done. Now we're going to do this side. It's going to be a bit awkward. So, whichever is the best angle for this one, I don't know how we're going to do this. You won't be able to see it because of the horn. But same thing again, the cover comes out. So that's the cover. The seals are on there. Uh, I don't think you can see much on here because of the because of the position of the horn. Let me just, just have a look. Well, I've got a better angle now. So yeah, that's the that's the bulb again for which you need to replace. Squeeze your fingers through. And then pull the bulb out. Now same thing again on this one. They fitted the same bulb, which is no good. Remove this, get a new one. And then slot that through. Once that's in there, you can see all I now do is slot it through the hole and then push it in. That's pushed in, put the cover back on. Like I said, the other bulbs you can do that easily as well. The high beam, low beam bulbs are quite easy to replace. Now, what we're going to do, we're just going to make sure it's all working. You can see now, they stop flickering, so both of them are pretty good. Now that's all it was on this particular model. 
If there is anything else you need to know, come on us below, we'll try helping you as much as we can. And there is a playlist for Mercedes, do check it out. There's a playlist for Bob's as well, do check that out. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video, thank you and goodbye.